This video was brought to you by The Corporate Game, where you wanna learn how to scale your business if you already have one. Thank you to all of the people who bought training and thank you to the people who will be buying training. And shout out to the Nerd Tribe. All right, I actually have been doing a lot of research on this topic before I posted this video. Starting an Airbnb today is probably one of the worst investments that you can make. <laughs> right now, there's a flood of Airbnbs all over the place. There's traditional Airbnbs, there's illegal Airbnbs, there are a lot of apartment complex and condominiums that have for forbidden Airbnbs, but people still have Airbnbs on these properties. Um, one of the things that is happening, and this isn't just Airbnb, this is real estate investment. And here's the thing, let's go ahead and have this conversation. If you have an Airbnb, you're not investing in real estate. You're in the hospitality industry. And based upon all of the comments of people staying in very bad or trashed Airbnbs, a lot of people don't understand that. An Airbnb isn't a license for you to get all this money and not do anything. And there are three tiers of Airbnb the way that I see it. First tier, you have a spare bedroom in your house and you throw it up on Airbnb. If you can deal with the hassle of having strangers stay with you, for some people who are people people, that's kind of fun. They're like, hey, here's someone new. Here's someone from Chicago. Here's someone from California. They're spending a little time. Um, that's the basic level of Airbnb. Now, a lot of people don't want to do that. A lot of people do not want to open up their houses to stranger. So that's the basic level of Airbnb. The largest segment of Airbnb, I will call it the regular ass rental. This is a rental that someone has pulled furniture off Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace is nondescript. There's nothing special. Uh, it's a few steps above or right on par with a flea bag motel. And this is the largest segment of Airbnb. This is the most crowded segment of Airbnb, regular ass Airbnbs. And the third segment, these are destination or extravagant Airbnbs. These are really nice Airbnbs. These are Airbnbs that people have uh, spent a lot of money on the furniture and, you know, they work because they're part of a, like an Airbnb that's 10 minutes from Disney, an Airbnb that's in Hollywood, an Airbnb that's close to Wall Street. Uh, these are places that will work because people are often going to these destinations. And there's a certain kind, like me, I am not a one or two or three star hotel type of person. I'm a four at a minimum. I'm preferably at a five star hotel. So these extravagant destination Airbnbs will appeal to people such as myself. And let's talk about what's happening. Um, I was listening to a podcast where there is a ton, literally a ton of Airbnb training. There's uh, one commercial that's very popular on YouTube. We flip beds. There's another guy talks about Airbnb arbitrage. And there's there's tons and tons of people who are doing Airbnb training. There's a guy called the goat who does Airbnb training and one of the biggest issues that is happening is a lot of regular ass Airbnbs are going on Zillow as long-term rentals 
because their bookings have evaporated. I was doing some research. I literally found some Facebook groups where people are freaking out because their bookings did not slow down. Their bookings have stopped. And once again, I with the way that I understand the Airbnb business, you need to be somewhere that people are going to be to have consistent and regular bookings. Um, I hear the term that you can have Airbnb literally anywhere. I, I don't think that's true based upon my research and the number of people who are freaking out. Further research has revealed that some of these people who have bought these Airbnb properties have bought these Airbnb properties with hard money. If you don't know what hard money is, hard money has a very high interest rate, 12 to 20%. And once you get a hard money loan, you got to start paying them immediately. There's no grace period. So for these people who've got these hard money loans, uh, they're paying anywhere from 12 to 2,500 bucks per month on these loans. And the thing is, hard money loans are not forever. So at some point, they got to refinance out of that hard money loan into a traditional loan. And this is where the problem is going to happen. A lot of these people who got into the Airbnb hype believed that it was literally printing money on steroids. They did whatever they could do to get an Airbnb. They did whatever they could do to get uh rental arbitrage rental arbitrage is extremely expensive you're looking at three to five thousand dollars out of pocket before you earn any money from airbnb just to find an apartment or a house that the landlord will allow you to put that airbnb that house on airbnb also another big problem many jurisdictions across the country are putting in Airbnb registration where many people are saying you can have a minimal number of Airbnbs or you can't do Airbnb at all. So that's one of the other things that we have going on. So we have a whole bunch of people who jumped into the Airbnb space and I'm going to say this and I'm not trying to be dismissive or mean, but you had a Oh, there's right now there are people who are doing Airbnb who are killing it right now but these are business people these are seasoned business people these are technicians these are business people that understand that they're in the hospitality industry and there, there's a group of people who are killing it right now and there's a larger group of people who are losing their asses and based upon the number of people who jumped into Airbnbs because it became so competitive that people who were trying to buy a house to live in could not outbid these investors who wanted to get a property for Airbnb. So there is a lot of people who have properties on the Airbnb website. And there's a lot of people who have properties on the Airbnb website that are not making any money. Once again, there are some people who have experienced a dramatic slow town and there is people who've experienced a full stop. They're not getting any bookings and this has been going on for months. So the Airbnb party is over. And part of the reason, and this is one of the things that I talk about because um, I'm getting ready to start another business, but before I get into another business based upon the car rental business fiasco, I am doing my due diligence. Uh, there was one business I've paid for some consulting. I looked at it and based upon my overall view of the economic climate, I am not going to move forward with that business because number one, we're looking at about $150,000, $200,000 to start. And this business is seasonal. And with what's happening in the economy, 
I just see demand dropping for this business. I actually see the people who are in this business are going to have a hard time in 2023 and in 2024 because of the nature of the business. So I am not going to do it. And I spent, you know, a thousand bucks for the consulting call. Well worth it. Well worth it. Because that thousand dollars have literally saved me 150, 200 K. So I'm not going to do that business. And once again, understand that many people come to YouTube University, they go to Instagram University or they get on Reddit and they look at all this stuff. stuff. So you have a bunch of unseasoned people. They're not even business people. They're like every time I hear someone's like, yeah, I'm, I'm investing in real estate. I have an Airbnb. Um, once again, you don't even know what business you're in. You're not a real estate investor if you have an Airbnb property. You're in the hospitality industry. And the fact that you have a house on Airbnb and you don't know what business you're in tells me a lot about how your business is going to shape up during the Airbnb apocalypse. Because Toro, you're not investing in cars. You're, you're, you're in the hospitality industry. And the hospitality industry can be rough it could be rough so what what's going to happen and um this could be the thing to, to really tank the real estate market understand interest rates are not tanking the real estate market interest rates can be 10 percent, and you will still have people going out getting mortgages and buying properties it's still going to happen uh i feel that the interest rates get to 15 percent that's going to have a chilling effect on the real estate market. I feel 10%, it'll slow down, but it ain't going to stop. People will still be buying houses. However, when you look at the number of unseasoned business people, and make no mistake about it, there are some people right now who are killing it in the Airbnb game, killing it. But these are business people. They understand what industry they're in. They understand the things they have to do. When demand drops, they lower their prices because these are business people and they make those type of business decisions because they understand what business they are in. And a lot of these Airbnb business people do not have Airbnbs in their own. Like they may live in Cleveland, Ohio, but they don't have one Airbnb in Cleveland, Ohio, because that's not a destination. They may have, you know, three or four or five Airbnbs in there in Florida near Disneyland or something like that. So the average Airbnb owner and, you know, um, video the that was Shelby Church. Shelby is a YouTuber who is fairly honest and straightforward. And she bought an Airbnb and she talked about how her Airbnb was losing money was losing money okay and you know you're not really seeing that type of content on youtube you're just seeing that hey we're making all this money for an airbnb we're airbnb millionaires and shelby is you know shelby's got close to two million subscribers she's been on youtube for a minute so shelby has alternate forms of income so she doesn't have to come to youtube and lie about her airbnb she doesn't have to lie about it so that's a credit to shelby church for telling the truth because you know she's got uh airbnb in somewhere in california and you know she's it's an expensive it's, it's like four or five hundred bucks a night so it's a house with a pool and Shelby has entered into a partnership with Roe Built uh, to build an Airbnb property somewhere out in the desert. So we'll see how that goes. But once again, Shelby is not stupid. And Shelby has money. Shelby has a lot of money coming in from YouTube. And Shelby has other business ventures. And Shelby has sponsorships. So Shelby is not the Dependent upon her Airbnb income to live the life that she wants to live. So that that's something you should really, really take because I've literally seen um, I'm not mentioning names, but some Airbnb people who have quit their jobs to live off the Airbnb income. 
and I I feel that they buy the Airbnbs in destination areas. I don't think they have any Airbnbs close to where they live. But during this shakeout, because there's so many people who have jumped into the Airbnb market that this can literally tank the whole real estate market because these people now have hard money loans or other extremely expensive forms of financing for their Airbnb property and their Airbnb property is not making any money. Their Airbnb property has re seriously reduced cash flow or it's not having any cash. There's no bookings at all. And they're on the hook for this money. And what I understand based upon my research that many of these people are going to start tapping out next year. This like they this is just like I got this property, I got this house that's not making me any money, but it's costing me money. So you're going to see a ton a ton of Airbnb properties going into the real estate market next year. A ton because here in Atlanta, and once again, like I said, I did my research before I did this video. For weeks, I've been watching the number of what I call failed Airbnbs popping up on Zillow here. Uh, what a failed Airbnb is a house that someone has, they'll post for rent on Zillow at an exaggerated rental rate. Like Zillow may say the rental rate will be 2000, but they'll be asking 4000 because the house is fully furnished. And you know, there's such a thing as corporate housing, but the corporate housing people have not been advertising on Airbnb. There's their own websites for that because that's a very niched market. So these are what I called failed Airbnbs. They're not making any money or the cash flow has been reduced so much that these people are having a problem servicing the debt on that property. And I, I feel that you know, we're in this right set of circumstances. Interest rates are going up. So it's going to make it very hard to refinance out of that hard money loan into a traditional loan uh, because property prices are dropping. So what does this mean? Equity is dropping. So there was someone last month that had enough equity to refinance into a regular loan. And going in de December, that house doesn't have that equity anymore because the price of the property has dropped. Now, I don't think um, it's going to take a lot to have a real estate crash across the country. We will have segmented marketplace crashes. We will have segmented crashes in places where their real estate. I think in Florida, housing prices have increased 40 percent in two years. That's not sustainable. That's not even sustainable. But we're not, you know, I was looking. You can buy houses in Car North Carolina, Alabama, certain parts of Tennessee for like 200K a, a house. So I don't think those marketplaces are going to experience a dramatic crash because these properties did not dramatically go up in price. However, what I do feel is going to happen is. We have no clue to how many people got in the Airbnb game. And in 2023, we will start to see this as these people start to come out of these houses. And next year is going to be the year of creative financing because someone's got an Airbnb property. Maybe they used hard money to get into that property and they're going to have to figure out some way to service that that debt because um, the way that I understand it, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but hard money, if you don't pay the hard money back, they take the property. I think that's how that goes. So these people who are in the hard money lending business are not in the property business. They don't want the properties. So I feel that there's going to be a bunch of these properties that the hard money lenders are going to just take back because they're not getting paid. And this is going to create and supply an inventory. Now, inventory is like 1.8 million across the country. Uh, 
in a better market, we would have close to 4 million homes on the market. So the, the supply of available homes has literally been reduced by more than 50%, which is why it's so nuts. But we will see, because like I said, there's no hard numbers on the number of people who bought a property to place it on Airbnb. But I feel that these numbers will start to reveal themselves next year as people come out of these properties. Once again, I know that you would see the commercial we flip beds or, you know, we'll see the Airbnb uh, arbitrage. I would say if you are even considering starting an Airbnb in a non destination place, you are crazy. You're crazy because Atlanta, a lot of people come to Atlanta and I'm just seeing the number of Airbnbs here in Atlanta going up on Zillow as long term rentals. It's literally every day because I check Zillow every day and I see more and more of these properties going up there. So and once again, once the and interest rates, we're probably going to see 10 percent interest rates. Um, the Fed hiked the rate this month. And guess what they're going to do it next month? And guess what they're going to do it next year? So we're at a minimum, we're going to see 10% interest rates, which is going to make it, or if you're at a hard money loan and it's 17% and you could refinance to 10%, that would save you some coins. But once again, I feel that the number of unseasoned business people who got into the Airbnb game based upon the hype are going to live to regret it. It's just going to, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be nasty, man. It's going to be nasty because uh, this is something that I've talked about. Airbnb is a template business, and you know how I feel about template businesses. Um, template businesses are really, really dangerous um, because a template business is a business that gets hype, like Toro is hype. Like There's a number of people who are selling their Toro fleets. I'll do another video about that. But right now, we're... We're, 2023 is going to be the year that's going to reveal itself for a lot of um, things that are going to be happening in the Airbnb space. Will there be people in the Airbnb space making money? Yes, absolutely. These will be the smart, the creative. These will be the real business people who understand that they're in the hospitality industry. Um but for the average person that just wants to buy a property and throw some cheap ass furniture in there and then hopefully make no. that's over, man, that's over that 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 actually never worked. Uh, I've literally gone in Airbnb and I've seen the reviews for regular ass Airbnbs and their reviews are horrible. They're terrible because once again, you know, I have not stayed in the Airbnb and um probably not going to stay in the airbnb unless i'm going somewhere and there's a group of us and it would make sense to rent a nice house that would make sense and it would be a nice uh, extravagant airbnb it wouldn't be a regular ass airbnb because you know um once again i did this you can get a, a four or five star hotel if you know how to price shop go to priceline and you can you can get a room 30, 50, 100 bucks off the, their rate on their website if you hit Priceline. So, yeah, I, I just see the Airbnb apocalypse will be upon us because there are so many people who are piling into this with little regard to the fundamentals of how to run a hospitality business. And they're just jumping in, buying properties, pushing up the price of properties, competing with people who are trying to buy an average house. And it's going to be nasty. It's going to be nasty. All right. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one. And once again, this video was sponsored by The Corporate Game. The Corporate Game is for those of you who have businesses and you want to learn how to scale and you want to learn how to save money on your taxes. There's a video and this is really interesting because I get a lot of, oh, this is just doom and gloom over here. And I have other two channels that talk about nothing but business. The corporate game talks about if you have a business, how to scale it. And the B-School for Hustlers talks about how to start a business. And both those channels 
combined do not get the views that this channel, which is the doom and gloom channel, yet that just shows me how many people are really interested in starting a business. So for those of you who want to start a business, go to B-School for Hustlers and go to the corporate game.